What's up guys? This is the Raveman and I am back to bring you to the first episode of a brand new campaign. My let's play of, of uh, Rome Remastered Total War as the Brutii. Which I think they're my... One of my more uh, personal favourites of this campaign. So I'm going to set me advice level to medium, campaign and battle, battle difficulty to hard. And yeah, let's get cracking. We made the Republic. The family deserve respect. Respect and obedience. We know what is best for Rome. New lands, living space, territory, slaves. I know what must be done. The Greeks. They go down their perfume noses at all Romans. And they hate us. For hate. I've crushed them. Roman steel. That's the answer. Roman steel in the booty eye fist. And the other great Roman families. The Scipii. Trash. We have no respect for proper Roman ways. For us, the Julii prostitute themselves as if. People matter, but the Brutii must lead Rome. Don't worry, we shall. This campaign can be a bit tricky uh, because you are fighting against the likes of Greece and Macedon, which are quite powerful nations, the Greeks especially, especially in the early game. And here we are, it's beautiful. Um, so, we have a Senate mission, which is to take Apollonia, just here, right across the water. But rather than do that straight away, what I like to do is the Brutii, is if I move you guys to there, hop these guys along, hop you guys up to there. Okay, let's move two of our ships out because there is a city here next to this gold on the Adriatic coast which is nice to get we want to get our spy and a diplomat over to the east with us and let's open up the uh, quick lists for construction Got Tarentum and Croton this is quite a neat, neat little feature I quite like um, you do get these pretty useful indicators that show what the general status of a city, whether they're making money, how happy they are, is the population growing, is it governed? Um, but there are two spaces here that represent if they are recruiting anything and if they are building anything. So this is quite an easy way to uh, to show how pr what production your cities are doing. Well, not exactly what, but whether if they are producing or not. So you click on a city and you open up the city's tab down here, and this is where you can open up your construction tab. When there's Tarentum, you're probably going to want a militia barracks to gain to train more Hastati to send across the water. Croton can probably work on getting a port, probably. Let's see what's the best in terms of money. If we get out of this and I click that, the port will add an extra 133 income per turn. Obviously, a, a mine will add an extra 200. <laughs> But a trade port does improve this trade figure by some amount to be determined. I think I'll still go for a port. That's quite a nice upgrade to get. Let's probably get some town watch. Isn't necessarily the best thing to get at the minute. Let's go for a diplomat. I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, let's hit end turn. So this army wants to hop along, hop off the shore, and before we attack Ap Ap Apollonia, I want to just get off the shore at Salona. Oh, we could take the city as well. Uh, let's maintain the siege. Can they recruit any mercenaries? Illyrian mercenaries, they might be quite useful to have on board. Can you guys recruit Ooh, mercenary hoplites? They're always useful. We, the first objective is to take these two 
cities. I don't want to spend anything because I want to uh, fix any uh, anything that we damage going in. So let's go and attack Salona. That's what we're up against. Some militia hoplites, Sicilian pirates, Illyrian mercenaries. Two lots of Illyrian mercenaries. All right, let's take them out and expand good Roman culture. So I'm particularly anxious about the Greeks because they have able to pump out a lot of um, a lot of uh, armoured hoplites quickly. That's a bit of a concern. Okay, so I want Hastati going through the front gate, backed up with a Velite unit. And then I also want another starter unit backed up by Velites coming around a flank. The general can stay where he is. The Illyrian mercenaries can also come in the front. There we go. Hello, what's this? Let's push up our push up our skirmishes to uh, skirmish these. Come on. Skirmish these Sicilian pirates. They're impetuous, so it looks like they might just run straight into our... It looks like they might actually be trying to go for my... My general. Turn my Illyrian mercenaries off of skirmish mode so they can hire some lovely peel them into the Sicilian pirates actually no hold on no 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 bring my bring my Hastati over here oh no no time for that they're routing so I want to take advantage of that and kill them before they get to the city centre where they will fight to the death we might not we might not catch them but we need to kill as many as we can because Hastati are not the best in the melee at the start Especially as my general seems unable to chase down routing men. Let's keep the starty fire at will turned off. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not going to make it. So let's keep my general pushing around to try and hit the bad guys in the rear. Make sure my Velite is of skirmish mode off. Okay, there go my Illyrian mercenaries charge in. So we're going to do some skirmishing with our... You guys both focus on the pikes. Let's charge these men to the Illyrian mercenaries. You might be better off if I try to charge them into the, well, the mercenaries will have to do. Come on. Look at that for pathfinding, holy Jesus. Are my Velites... My Velites pushed up and now they're routing. <laughs> there we go, the general's been killed. Let's keep pushing 
the hoplites. Let's get some of our Venetase to fire across. Especially into the likes of the Sicilian pirates. My Lyrian skirmishers are doing a good job there. So just keep throwing in the javelins. Can my Hastati javelin the uh, Sicilian pirates? Or peeler them? Okay, so let's stop these guys. There we go. Now everyone, get in there and kill as many of them as you can. Fortunately, it's only a, a handful of each type. But damn, it's been this has been a bloody fight. ride them down. Ooh, that was not a good battle. <laughs> oh man, oh man. But it was a win. We have a foothold on the enemy on the enemy front. Then we must cast our eyes towards Thermon. Uh, just occupy it. There we go. You guys can build a barracks, is would be nice. Potentially, roads is a cheap way to boost income. And these fellas can attack Apollonia. Let's take him out. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to look at expanding and growing our infantry base, just so we don't have, or just so we uh, we can have. We need well, we need to get this heavier infantry to the front line. Hastati are good, but they're not. They have their problems. Mercenary hot plates can go in the front, backed up by Velite, Velites. You guys can get ready to come in from this direction. You guys can come in from that direction. You, These guys could probably go in here as well. Our cavalry is going to run around and try and hit them from a different angle altogether. Let's try and push in from all directions at once. Let's get Velites and make sure they've got skirmish mode off. Our general's probably going to come in through the centre as well. The handy thing is now, whichever way the militia hoplites point, there will be three other armies, three other units of troops coming in from different directions. So let's speed up time. So the general's probably going to go over here. 
You know, we can either charge this way or this way, depending on whatever's... Okay, let's also push the Hastati up, because they can also throw Peeler. Now they seem to have committed. Let's run a lot of our other elements up into position. It looks like... walk our hot plates into the pell tests well let's just run and take over the square then Starty should be. They should be using their javelins at fire at will because there are units in range. So I have no idea why my hot plates are in this particular formation. Velite's focus on the militia hot plates. Put my equites. Oh no, not that way. You definitely go that way. You guys go over here. There you go. These men can go fire at will. And they're aiming at the militia hoplites. Oh wow, I didn't mean to charge my Velites through, but we've managed to uh, end them. Good stuff. Amulus Brutus has taken the first steps onto the enemy shores. And we've done good work. So Apollonia is ours. Let's just occupy it for now, because I do want to keep the population high. Let's get barracks, and let's get some land clearances to try and increase the rate of pop growth. Let's get a diplomat over here. Spy seems to work really well here, because they get a very good line of sight. Bring my agent, bring my ships back. These guys can't repair anything. Uh, but let's check out the building browser. Everyone's building. Tarantum, can you... Okay. Let's just slowly keep trickling units over into Apollonia. Because we do have a small force outside Thermon that we need to engage. Senate mission successful. We've been given 5,000 denarii, which is good stuff. Let's hit N10. Because what I like about, what I'd like to attempt with the... Is it up here? Aha! I'd like to try and do alliance and trade with the Macedonians. It's generous. A most generous proposal. But I'm doing it because I want to try and focus on attacking the Greeks first. Maybe even take Cardonia and Rhodes and then turning on the turning on the uh, Macedonians. So let's check our building browser. Croton, you can get a trader to help grow the, our income. Salona, you can now afford mines, which is good stuff. Get our cavalry across into the into the city. Could probably recruit one more cav unit. So my spies work well over here. So we need to go take. Because we do need to just go take them out. 
Can we leave Apollonia? They don't like it. We can recruit a peasant unit to try and stem the tide. But you guys need to march up and try and take Thermon quickly. Path blocked. Yep. Alliance between us and Macedon. Good stuff. I mean, it's Brutus. Greek turncoat. Plus one command when fighting the Greeks. Handy. Okay, but apart from that, let's hit end turn. Greek cities look like they want to try and interdict our trade, but the rebels went and killed them. <laughs> you guys march up. Can you get any good mercenaries? Ooh, Illyria, uh, Peltists. Compare Peltists to Velites. Velites are more missile attack and more melee attack. But mercenary Peltists do have a shield, a better shield. Hmm. Apollonia's chilled out. Get the cavalry over to the front. Where they can attempt to march up. Let's just get another unit of Astarte. Croton doesn't have anything useful to build at the moment. Tarentum. Let's get a trader again for the economy benefits in soon. I'll say soon. Fairly, fairly rapidly really. We want to go and push and take Thermon. Because ideally we'll take Thermon, try and take Sparta, which will be a bit dodgy. Cavalry march up. Message from the Senate. I don't have to bother blocking. I don't have to bother blockading Syracuse. We now have a new general, though. But he can go to Apollonia, and I can sail in and out very well because we're not actually at war with the Greeks yet. Right now, I'm just upsetting them by crossing their territory. Croton can build mines as well, and Salona. You can build a trader. Again, I want to try and really boost our economy here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just want to declare war on the Greeks. Put them under siege. I mean, now it does mean we're now at war. With this admiral, so Tarentum's going to recruit a handful of recruit a handful of military units, and then we'll sail them down to join up with this army uh, in following turns. War with the Greek cities. That was always going to happen. Fundamentally, everyone. Well, the Scipii Scip hate the uh, the Greeks, so they're going to always declare war on them sooner or later. But what I would really like the Macedonians to do is to uh, fight against someone like Thrace. Because the Macedonians are a scary faction. Greeks are falling back. Okay. Okay, there we go. For some reason, I couldn't get the use the tab. Okay, Tarentum, our capital. Okay, you can probably do with a public health bonus. Certainly, in the long run, Apollonia. You can get the trader again to help. It helps get us that population boost. To be honest, it's mighty tempting just to start recruiting peasants to ship over to Apollonia 
to help Apollonia. I know it's Apollo. It's probably Apollo. Apollonia for Apollo, but call it, to me it sounds it rolls off the tongue more as Apollonia. Let's recruit some peasants to ship over here to help boost their growth. So then here we've got Amulus Brutus who can attack the city of Thermon. So they've got a couple of militia hoplite units and some peltasts and they also have their faction air. So let us engage. You do need to blitz. It feels like um, as the as the Brutii against the Greeks. Otherwise they do start to build units like well, armoured hoplites come out fairly quick, which I find quite scary. Ram. So we've got some skirmishers to send up. Skirmish over the walls if they let us. Got another unit of Hastati, got our cavalry, got quite a lot of cavalry. Which we're going to want to take advantage of. Okay, it's going to loose formation. You are going to want to push up to skirmish their peltists and to throw some javelins into their militia hoplites. So back at the centre, they've got peltasts and they've also got. A general wandering about. So I'm tempt it's tempting to bring up my hoplites to go through the center to directly challenge these militia hoplites, then bring my Hastati around to hit them in the flank. Oh no, here's the other militia hoplites unit. So you guys need to get in range. I don't know why you guys decided to do a complete rearrangement of your... Look at that for Pathfinder. They're running over here to run back over here. Well, you can, yeah. I suppose we're not so bothered about hitting militia hoplites from the front, especially when they've not got their spears deployed. Especially if they're going to move and we can then Hit them in the flank. Good stuff. That's thinning them out. This unit is still spinning around. Wait for my orders. So you guys are going to be hurling at that unit of, of militia hoplites. Especially as they're turning away from us. It's so all my hoplite mercenaries to advance through to challenge their cavalry down the centre. My Hastati can run in. Well, technically they should run in. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. So you guys run in against the Peltasts. I probably want the Hastati to be more like here. So my Velites can also engage them. Velites engage the Hoplites.
that unit of Hastati really I want over here instead. No, you stay where you are. How are you not... How are these guys not just focusing on hitting my guys? How are they able to fire, to throw their... You guys out of javelins, you are... Okay, in which case these guys then have to turn around. You guys are firing at will. So I'm starting to be there, waiting in the flank. Look at that for pathfinding. Good. I mean, I definitely didn't want my Hastati to be there. I wanted my... My Hastati, I want to be out of it. I don't. I cannot understand what the hell this the game thinks it's doing. Okay, at least we're getting there. We've now got their cavalry engaging us. We've got their cavalry engaging our. Look at these Valetes pushing up. Rakatees that are in. I don't know what the hell's the hell this game thinks it's doing. That's the Hastati. Yeah, the Hastati have broken. Like, I don't know why they keep- look at- look at that! Where the hell have they path found that? Makes no sense. Let's get our cavalry into the town. No. Well, to be honest, you could go out of the gate and then charge these militia hoplites. Because you're probably a good idea just to charge those pell tests. Some of our velites have come back. You guys can charge those hoplites in the rear. Or actually, not charge the hoplites, but charge the cavalry in the rear over here. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. Finally killed their general. Is that everyone? So slaughtering the pell tests. Charge some equites into the rear of the cavalry of their hoplites, I should say.
Okay, that's just these cavalry then that we've got charging into the rear of these hoplites. The there we go. <laughs> that's, yeah, that pathfinding is a bit messed up. That was, yeah. I've been hearing lots of stories about um, the pathfinding in cities being a bit funky, but people were saying it was it was a problem in Rome 1. I, I don't know, from memory, it certainly wasn't that bad. Victory and glory! There we go, secured Thermon. Let's occupy it. And let's probably build a... Definitely barracks, please. So we're able to sort of retrain our men. I'd like my spy to come over and... Well, they can't move. There's so much junk in the way <laughs> over there. Okay, it's got to Thrace to see if we can keep them sweet. Senate mission successful. Take Thurman. 5,000 denarii. Lovely. Everyone's building something. Croton can't build anything. Well, recruit anything, I should say. Okay, apart from that, I think... You guys can march down to Thurman. Let's hit N10. Hey, could you imagine if I was relying on uh, pikemen in a city battle? How much of a mess that would be. So it looks like I'd probably want a pretty decent force to go after the Greeks in Sparta now, because they've got half stuck under their faction leader, supported by Captain Medius, Medius, who'd fallen back from the Thurman region. Marriage celebrations. Cassius Brutus and Magna. Lovely. Spain and Carthage are at war. Scythia and Thrace are at war with each other. Amius Brutus is a decorated hero. Yes. Should don't know Thrace. Is no city here? Should be. Take settlement. Suggestica. I'll be give a awarded a unit of Triarii. Could probably take some troops from Salona. That disband, disband unit. Yes. Just because Tarentum's growing quite handsomely. Although now we've got those orders from the Senate, I might pick up a unit of Astarte and a unit of Equites, and I think we could then probably take just those units and go take them out. Let's check out our building panel. Tarentum can build a, a market so we can look at getting a merchant. Croton can look at getting mines. Salona, you can probably look at just getting land clearance. Just expand your population. Just grow. Grow and grow and grow. Actually, that makes sense. Maybe it better be worth... Okay, so Thermon. Well, 4% growth is still pretty good. Don't need to knock the technology... I don't need to knock the uh, tax rate down. You can recruit a diplomat. Might be worth might be worth having a diplomat around here just in case I need to conduct some emergency negotiations. Ready to sail. Croton's building up our fleet. Okay, let's hit N10. Because I think I want to rush Principes. And obviously, I can, one way I can rush them is through taking uh, Athens, not Athens, Sparta. Looks like it might be. A, actually, it looks like they've just dumped a bunch of their troops onto ships. Or, at the very least, they're hidden. OK, 
Okay, next turn you can retrain a bunch of those Hastati. Can't retrain these Hoplites, sadly, because they are very useful. Okay, you can now build... Got roads. Public order bonus. So one of these is probably public health bonus. Probably pick this public health bonus to try and get some even more... Actually, that's a huge amount of public order. But the idea is I still want that, that high pop growth here. In fact, then Tarantum is my main recruitment centre, but right now it's recruiting for that northern front. So those uh, inactive spy, that's okay. Inactive fleet, that's okay. Byzantium. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Trade rights, map info. Map info. A most generous proposal. So then let's get my agent up to not here, up here, I think. To go speak to Dace, Dacia. Idle resources, that's okay. Path block, diplomat. Oh yeah, it's blocked by the city. Okay. Yeah, I very, very, very much want Principes. I think once I start to get them and roll them out to the armies, I'll replace... Hastati with them, because I think Hastati, they're quite competitive in terms of cost. <laughs> there goes that merchant. Okay, so you can now retrain mercenaries. I may as well just disband those mercenaries. Probably look at building some more as well. Take these units aboard the ship. Sail up to Salona. That's where I can pick up more troops and then sail up to Suggestica. Salona itself. Now they're going to be losing their garrison. You can work on... Maybe trying to Mercury to see if we can get a boost from that gold deposit. We've got mining, Apollonia. Let's get basic roads and Thermon. You can get a port, I think. Pop growth's growing well. I mean, we have exported a lot of their people away. So maybe land clearance might be a good idea. Yeah, it provides extra in tax income plus population both bonuses. Yeah, both Growth bonuses, not both bonuses. You aboard ship. Let's get my diplomat over here. Just keep him in the region just to make sure he's doing something. Or at least he's nearby, I should say. Let's keep Tarantum recruiting uh, military units to ship across the seas. Let's keep our navy growing. Thermon's going to do a round of recruiting or retraining. Because it's not long till we get. I could have. I was just tempting to get my spies straight into Sparta. Cease for an effect in Gaul and Scipio. Vibius Brutus is married. And we have no Senate officers. So let's click and turn. You can still hear the applause of the Senate. Here we go. Hmm, here comes Gaul. Do you wish to trade with us? Greetings. Yes. I'm not so bothered about, oh, about trying to haggle for map information. Especially it looks like they're doing pretty well. Spies are sailing on.
Okay, where's my Thermon commander? Sail up to this high point. And... Why can't you build a watchtower? Maybe because he has no, and maybe because he now has no movement points. Strange, I couldn't build it before though. Suitable husband. Yeah, he's got lots of pretty good traits. Let's take him. Where is he? Oh, probably back at the capital. Oh no, he isn't. Please be in Salona. That would be so handy. He is in Salona. Really. Sell these guys up to Suggestica. Let's keep the troops ferrying over to the front, especially as we've got a as we've got a uh, Macedonian army nearby, which we don't necessarily like. Sip, Skippy, I. What are you doing over here? Okay, in which case, you guys get over to Thermon and get ready to pick up these men and sail to Sparta. Wardekleb in Skippy Eye in Gaul, okay. Sparta's unhappy. Ugh, they can recruit Armoured Hoplites. Armoured Hoplites, Spartan Hoplites. Mm -hmm. They're a tricky one. But there isn't a lot you can do about them. Oh no, Macedon. Look at that, they've betrayed us. And they're going to go up and take Salona. Well, at the very least, my army that can take Suggestica can then sail south and take... Um, Sell south and take it, take the town back. Okay, clear defeat. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. You can't go anywhere safe. Just try and sell them. Look at these devils blockading our port. Let's try and get you back to port. That's probably not going to work. Our agent. Let's try and get our agent over to Greece to try and make peace. So who's it? Larissa. Governor, Factionaire, Light Lancers. You guys fall back. Okay, let's take. So, what have they got? Can we see? No, just Light Lancers, a general. And some stuff. Let's try and march those guys north to try help them out. Thermon is unhappy about that. Yeah, let's try get our agent over there to try and make peace or cause a ceasefire with Sparta. Because if we're now at war with Macedon, we've got a bunch of good cities we could take. So these guys, this guy can march up and hit Suggestica. Let's take two turns to build siege equipment. So Salona, you're not building anything. Tarentum. Straight for the governor's palace because they've expanded. Croton can go for... They're a bit unhappy so they can get shrined to Juno. Salona, don't build anything. Thermon. Build a... Stables, maybe. To, great, to get more cavalry production on the continent. So I might send these guys north to go try hit the Macedonians, then maybe try hit Larissa. Be curious to see what Mr. Scipio is going to do. So settlement besieged, town grows, betrayed. Boo! Let's try and 
try and get some trade with them. Okay, let's hit end turn. This is going to be a tricky one. But we'll muddle through. So Macedon... Ah, they've gone for the city. Uh, <laughs> don't like my odds, but... <laughs> let's, uh... Let's do it. It looks like they've only got one ram. So if we could somehow... Destroy their ram. Then we'd have a good shot. Oh no, we don't have any walls. Nuts. <laughs> My general is going to meet his... Meet his brothers. In heaven. So you maybe go after those guys. Hey, that's their general. General's body... Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> yep, yeah, there they go. <laughs> Pretty inevitable. Speed up time. A defeat. So many good Romans <laughs> oh, we didn't even get enough. We didn't even get a lot of kills. Gah! There's always a bit of a lucky dip element when you see your general go down. And you think, is that my guy, or is that his guy? Nope. So let's march my army northwest to go retake Apollonia. God, they can just recruit so much stuff because they've got so many more cities than I do. Please ask me for a ceasefire. Let us now talk reasonably. Counter offer, ceasefire, and trade. Uh, very well. Here we go. Good lads. Popularity falls. Pony has been occupied. Cassius Brutus has been brutally slain. Oi, oi. So you guys continue marching. You guys pick up some more infantry. Uh, I suppose you don't really have much of a doesn't have much of a purpose. Who are you? Cydia? Trade rights, map info, map info. What do you consider? Yeah, 300 oh, bucks. I will address them at once. Trade rights, map info, map info. A most generous proposal. Good. So let's wander up and if we go over to here to meet the Germans, we can easily go over and hit the Brits and the Gauls. You've got your one ram, or one, yeah, one ram. I like two. I like to have two. Croton is growing. They're not far off from. They're not far off from growing. So if anything, I could, if I could try and find any one turn, that'd be great. But there isn't anything. So let's maybe go. Two turns, Temple of Juno. Salona? Now they've left us alone, we can build a palisade. Well, they've not left us alone, they've wandered away from us. Can you recruit a merchant? Oh, you can. Good stuff. Two turns till we get the governor's new building. Let's get our spy back up here. There's another army with levy pikes. I think actually it might be a good idea to build a 
militia barracks up here at Croton as well. That way at least we can double our production. Because we need to start creating some serious troops to go and fight the Macedonians. I mean, it looks like Skippy I wants to go... Oh, God. They get... Yeah, they've marched even more men up to go hit that town. So, wish I hadn't bought that. Um, bought those walls now. Maintain siege. There we go. Yeah, Salona. You're probably going to be done. So Jessica's ripe for the taking. My agent could probably... No, no, they're also pushing for Thurman. So let's cancel building the stables. Let's pull these two troops north to Apollonia. Just let them have it. Because we're not realistically going to be able to hold, all, hold them off. Focus focus our efforts where we can actually make a difference. Croton. Build a governor's palace. So yeah, when this army takes Suggestica, I can send, ship them back to Salona. You can retrain the ships. Let's build another infantry unit ready. I think we're going to be ping-ponging around a bit, and Amulus Brutus, you're going to get very bloodied. This army can go and hit Suggestica, so let's go and... yeah, we'll take them out. We will take them out. But yeah, I want to rush the next gen... the next barracks at Tarentum to go get... Principes. Do not fear these Start rebels deployment. Push our mercenaries up close to the wall. Got our starter unit, Pikes and our general. Although it looks like they are quite happy to just wander around near the town. Although we might start skirmishing with our Velites. Yeah, they can absorb a lot of a lot of damage. <laughs> the Illyrian skirmishes are also going to open up on them. Illyrian mercenaries. It's not a bad amount of damage. They start 150. We've cut about 30 of them out. But I want to take the wall so I can scatter my cavalry around and do... Are these guys doing laps? Our have done so if I well, speed up time... The are these guys just going the around here? Because if they are, then... Got Your another hit to the rear. Once more. The walls are down. Order your men on to Let my men fire and I'll throw off another volley of javelins. These men are winded. Okay, let's get, let's get our men out of loose formation. Now is it time to press on and capture this place? 
you guys, to be honest, push in. Our Illyrian mercenaries. So what I want my mercenaries to do is to, like, just stay out of the way. You might start to going to chomp through these mercenaries pretty well. Run on into the unit behind. Charge into them. They're about to throw pike. They're about to throw... No, they're, st they're starting to shuffle rather than charge. These Hastate also want to push up to fight in the front line. The there we go. Praised. General's been killed. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Let's march this unit up around the flank. Go stop what you're doing. Got Valetes to hurl javelins over our lines. Good stuff. They're also wavering, so we need to do... Ah, oh, you're out of ammunition, that's why. The general can charge down those mercenaries. Get our cavalry in the centre. So those guys charge straight in. This unit get up on their flank. Cavalry can actually come up here. The general keep engaging and smash into the rear of this formation down here. There we go. They've all been defeated. So that's the Jessica brought within our sphere of influence. So that's earned us a unit of Triarii. We can enslave enslave the population. Trader Barbarian. Let's repair the walls, build a shrine, but these guys are going to have to shuffle out, which I know they won't like. Chiefly because we need we need more men. I've got some good triarii. So you're recruiting a merchant, retraining some ships, and then upgrading our uh, or rebuilding retraining some more hastati let's check our building tab because salona is Ooh. see if you can sprint up suggestica the faction air aulus you can stay out of the city if they're coming after you they can they can have it we'll have to take it in the 
counteroffensive. Senate mission successful. Yeah, Croton is also growing, we know that. Titus. I know that was at Salerno as well. Let's hit N10. And then this will be the last N turn of the episode. Let's see what happens. Lots of diplomats coming out of the Scipii. What I want is Macedon to attack other cities. Or other factions. Don't quite know why my guy retreated backwards. Okay, the Macedonians are now finally after the Scipii. Looks like they did sink their fleet. Here come the Greek cities. They've not come after Thermon yet, because it is revolting. Let's deploy our troops there. You guys, just the Triarii, but you can ship them across still. Still besieging Apollonia, but that's okay. I know Sajastiki are not happy. Although I think I do want to send one of you guys up there as a governor. Good! So Tarentum has upgraded their governor's palace. They can now get Legion barracks, which means in four turns you should be talking about having Principes. Jessica, you could build mines. That's pretty neat. Awesome. Awesome stuff. It's probably in our interest though to attack Apollonia. I mean they've got lots of They've got lots of troops, but how do I get back to there we go. We don't have much skirmishes, and to be honest, we don't have any visibility on what they've got in there. But we do, well, we do know they've got lots of cavalry. Orders. Yes! Give me them mercenaries. Imperial. You can march within range, just have a look at them. But I think we are going to attack the city, because mostly cavalry, which we can defeat with our mercenary hot plates if we use them smartly and we've also got our equites our generals have to do a good job at knocking out some of their cavalry but looking at the timer i believe that's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for this battle against the traitorous macedonians cheers everyone <laughs>